Hey everyone, welcome or welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today I'm going to show you how to make this liquid chrome effect in Photoshop. Um, it's actually really easy. We only have our text layer, which remains fully editable, and you can write whatever you want, and the effect will still apply to it. The cool thing about this is you can make it in, into a layer style so that you can just click on your styles panel and select the style that you just created, and you already have your effect saved. So start from the beginning, I'm going to write my text. I'm going to make it pretty big. What you want to do is double click on your layer to open up the layer style window. And the only thing you're going to have to add is a bevel and emboss effect with these settings more or less. You might will have to change the depth and the size numbers depending on how big your text is and how big your canvas is. But more or less, this should be a good value for all sizes. And uh, lastly, just add a contour with um, this contour right here and about a 50% range. Press OK and then make sure to remember to turn your fill to zero to get this effect. Um, it's really, really, really cool. Um, I then, after I do this, uh, to save it as a layer style, you just have to click on the plus sign and just name it however you want. I'm going to name it Liquid Chrome. Press OK. And you have it over here. So if you ever want to apply this effect to something else, you already have it saved. Another cool thing you can do with this now is add a gradient map to it um, and choose a cool gradient to go with it. And like, look, it, it, it'll keep its chrome liquid effect, um, which is really cool. Um, by the way, you can find these gradient map packs. Um, the link is going to be in my bio. I have plenty of them on my Gumroad if you want to check them out. There's also some free ones and some free textures as well. So that's definitely a cool thing. Um, and yeah, that's basically it. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. Feel free to comment, like, and subscribe to my YouTube channel. I post... Um, twice a week, maybe three times, sometimes depending on how many ideas I get. <laughs> and uh, yeah, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you soon. Bye.